Hello everyone, this is Dheeraj Suri and I welcome you all in Dheeraj Suri classes. So now today I am going to discuss with you a question uh, which, was, which was being asked in uh, examination of uh, JNU M Economics Entrance 2021 SSS. M Economics is SSS only. And the question is about Gini coefficient. We have a uh, Lorentz function and we are supposed to find the Gini coefficient. Well, uh, this is a question which was being asked in JNU M Economics entrance, but I, s I believe that this question is very relevant for all those students who are studying development economics, for uh, economics honors, for MA economics, for uh, uh, UGC net economics, for UPSC economics, Indian Economic Service. So for all those students, this question is of rel uh, relevance, this question is very significant. So before uh, solving this question, I would like to take you to the concept like uh, how can we relate the Gini coefficient and the Lorentz curve. So let me draw uh, the Lorentz curve first of all. This is uh, the axis we take uh, percentage of cumulative population on x-axis, percentage of cumulative population on the x-axis and percentage of cumulative income on the y-axis. Then we draw line of equality. Suppose this is the line of equality and it goes from uh, 0, 0 from 0, 0 to 1, 1 line of equality, right? And uh, the Lorentz curve is uh, something like this. This is the Lorentz curve, for example. Now, what is Gini coefficient? Now, this region between the line of equality and the Lorentz curve, it, this region is being represented by the Gini coefficient. How can we measure it? How can you measure it? Now, for uh, measuring this Gini coefficient, I would like to take one more thing. I would like to draw one vertical line from here. This is a vertical line, right? Now, I would like to call this region as A, this region as B. So Gini coefficient is uh, Gini coefficient is A divided by A plus B. A divided by A plus B is Gini coefficient. Now, how can we uh, find A plus B? Basically, A plus B is the area of this triangle. Let me call it A. Let me call this uh, O, A, and let me call this B. So A plus O. Oh, rather A and B have already been used so I should name them differently OPQ so area of triangle OPQ is A plus B how do you find area of triangle OPQ it is a right angle triangle and uh, because this this is 1 1 so its um, uh, base is 1 its height is 1 so area of triangle OPQ yeah, region A plus B is half into base into height which is 1 by 2 so as I mentioned Gini coefficient is a by A plus B. Gini coefficient is A by A plus B and A plus B is half. So Gini coefficient is A by half means twice of A. Now the question comes how do you find the area of A? See A is the region between this red line and the green curve. Between red line and green curve. How do you find area between two curves? Integration of upper curve minus integration of lower curve. This is how we find suppose uh, we have uh, a system like this we have this function we have this function this is f this is g this is x1 this is x2 between x2 and x2 if i have to find the region between uh, these two curves so what do we do we integrate x1 to x2 f minus g with respect to x so this gives you the region between two curves so same notion now th because this red line is 45 degree line line of equality it is mathematically being represented as y is equal to x and this uh, green curve is a Lorentz function that function is given to us uh, what is that uh, let me check that it is x power 3.3 okay so now the Gini coefficient is twice integration because now the limits are from 0 to 1 0 to 1 a how do you measure a I said it is being calculated as the area 
difference between the upper curve and the lower curve. So uh, upper curve is x minus lower curve is x power 3.3 with respect to x. So it is twice of uh, now integration of x is x square by 2 integration of x power 3.3 .3. x power n has integration x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so x power 3.3 plus 1 4.3 divided by 3.3 plus 1 that is 4.3 now we have to take the limits from 0 to 1 if you take the limits first we have to take the upper limit 1 power anything is 1 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4.3 and if you put 0, 0 by something is 0, so it is 0 minus 0. Now if you take the LCM over here, twice of 2 into 4.3, it is uh, 4.3 minus 2. So this 2 into gets cancelled, we are left with 2.3 divide by 4.3. And if I use the calculator to find out uh, what is uh, what is 2.3 divide by 4.3, 2.3 divided by 4.3 it is uh, something 0 0.53488 0 0.53488 it now this is one more thing uh, we can also represent Gini coefficient percentage in that case we multiply this by 100 if you want to express Gini coefficient by uh, in percentage form then this formula multiplied by 100 so it would have given you 53.48 percent for that matter if the answer required is in percentage and multiplied by 100 so in that case we would multiply by 200 instead of multiplying by 2 that depends in what form we want to present the answer now here my answer is uh, okay answer is in percentage form so I should multiply it by 100 so Gini coefficient is this into 100 means it is 200 it is 200 it is 200 now it is after this is 100 so it is uh, it is uh, 230 by 4.3 hmm. so this gives you 53 point or rather you multiply the final answer by 100 that's your choice 53.488 so 53.48 is my answer option number one so the purpose was to make you understand if we have the uh, the Lorentz function how can we compute the Gini coefficient now this function, now this particular function is not of very significance because it might give you x power 4.3, x power 2.3, x power anything it can give you. But the important thing is if you have the Lorentz function, how to find the Gini coefficient. I hope you have, now you have understood this thing, right? Okay, thank you.